Welcome to the video guide for the Crest Discovery Community Garden Challenge. We've produced this free resource for teachers so that you can run an engaging Crest accredited activity for students aged 11 to 14 during National Science and Engineering Week. I usually don't like science but today I've seen how enjoyable it can be. I thought it was going to be another boring science lesson for the whole day. But um, now that I've come here, it's actually a lot more fun than I thought it'd be. This is the first of five short videos complementing the written teacher's guide, which is free to download from our website. Together, these resources provide a complete step-by-step -step guide to make running the day easy. Each video is only a few minutes long, and this first video gives a brief explanation of the Crest Scheme and the Crest Discovery Community Garden Challenge. We will also highlight the key benefits of running this activity during National Science and Engineering Week. Rather than go straight into the full Crest Award, this was the perfect um, opportunity to start with, etc. so we could build from there. The Community Garden Challenge has been specifically developed to meet the Crest Discovery Award requirements. If you're new to Crest project work and unsure of the requirements, check out the information in the written guide and on the British Science Association website. Crest Discovery is a new type of Crest Award which allows students aged 11 to 14 to achieve an award in one day. The Crest Discovery Community Garden Challenge is a one-day activity giving large numbers of students the opportunity to gain a Crest Award. It encourages initiative and creativity in the students, it enhances students' employability and inquiry skills, and it offers the opportunity to celebrate achievement in STEM whilst raising the profile of STEM within your school. It encourages collaboration between STEM departments and is a natural progression to Bronze Crest. It supports collapsed timetable days and so is ideal for National Science and Engineering Week. What we need to do in science is try and get them involved in some activities that are not necessarily class based, um, that are diverse to what they're used to. I'd say the best activity was making the one way escape beehive with my partner in wildlife management. The best thing about um, this activity is um, the fact that you get to mix with people that you don't normally talk to and work as a team. It's really fun when you're like um, in a lab and you like put in loads of stuff into soil and it's really fun. Um, the best thing about the activity today has been um, well being creative and sort of getting ideas from other people and putting them into the work to make the, um, the team's garden as best as it can be. For me, the draw to this type of challenge and the award is for them to have a go at something that they wouldn't necessarily do and build some skills that would help them then if they sat in the lesson. I really get to know like the fun side of science. Like Normally I really, really wouldn't do this kind of activities, but now I know that I can actually do science and it's going to be fun. 